on this Topcon D2 there was a previous video where the slit drift adjustment was made by taking off this this knob and adjusting the the locking nut tightening and then put it back on to get more to get more tension to keep the slits from closing but actually the real problem might be not that it needs adjusting but the fact that the grease has gotten old and and it's not it's not performing the way it originally uh, was supposed to so this time we're not going to to correct the slit drift what I mean is you turn it and it, and it kind of keeps closing or, or you open it and it, and it and it just kind of starts closing by itself that's that's drifting and we're going to address it by cleaning this this whole axle and putting new grease on it so the way we do that is going to take this knob off here with our smallest Allen. It's a 1.5. Taking it off and I can already look and see that the grease looks fairly old and there's a washer here that we're going to clean now we should be able to just push this through pull it pull the axle through uh, you know, might have to t twist it a little bit while we're pulling it to pull it out. And I'm going to push on this end. Get through. If it doesn't come out, keep turning it one way or the other until it's free. Okay, this is the axle that needs to be cleaned. We're going to clean all this and as you'll notice it's a cam. It's smooth and round and it's a cam and what that operates is a little piston here it's inside here and this cam pushes this piston up and down and it's similar to this setup where this piston as I'm turning it pushes this up and down which raises and lowers the slits. So that's the same mechanism that's in here. Is your axle here with the cam pushes this little piston, so to think, and it rides on the slit. mechanism. So that's what we're going to clean. And when we're done cleaning it, it's possible that even if it doesn't solve it, it's possible that this little piston 
has gotten gummed up too. And we would take that, the top half off, first by turning our screw so we so it's visible, this screw. There's a couple caps up here. And we'll take the caps off, which are access to some some screws there. We'll take those out. And then this would come off, which would expose the inside of here to lubricate that. But we're not going to do that right now. First, we're just going to try cleaning this axle. See, here's our 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 washer, our pressure washer that's in here that we adjusted this side if we wanted to adjust the tension. But we're going to go ahead and keep it at the factory, at the factory um, level. And so I'm going to clean that and grease it with some number nine grease. It's a, it's a little thicker grease than your normal grease like Seal Glide and that that's what I would recommend but if you don't have it I guess you've got to use what you what you have but that might the the type the viscosity of grease that you have is, is probably going to affect the tension of your axle so if you've cleaned everything and it's still drifts, then you might have to increase your your tension here because the grease is not the right kind of grease. So I know that's a lot, but we're going to go ahead and clean that right now. Okay, I've cleaned the shaft with some fuel and notice that there are three washers on this end. There's a flat washer, a wave washer, and another flat washer, very thin. Now, when I re-grease this, oh yeah, I've also cleaned inside of here too. Cleaned in here, the shaft on both sides. Now, when I re-grease this with my number nine grease, I'm not going to put a lot because because as I'm pushing this through here any excess grease is going to be pushed into here as I'm pushing it through this channel, any excess grease here is going to be pushing it right into this space and that's going to leave a lot of grease in there. So I just want a light coating. I don't want a lot of grease on here. Okay. Both sides. And I'm going to make sure I have a little bit on these, on this washers over here. Although they will get the residual when this is pushed this way. So the excess grease going this far is going to be in here. The excess grease here is going to be pushed in here. So, and then. I'm going to relube in here on both sides. And then I'm going to wipe it out. First, I'm going to try to coat it with a flat part of the stick just to, to ensure that there's a, a little bit of grease on that, on the housing, the wall of that shaft and then I'm going to wipe it out with a Q-tip. 
but as I'm doing that, I'm I'm leaving a little bit. I'm leaving a little bit residual on the on the uh, sides. Okay. Now, when it's time to push it back in, as we remember, inside here we have this little piston, and as I'm pushing through, I'm going to have to lift this up so I can get this past because it's going to be down right now. It's going to be down. So I've got to I've got to lift it up with something so that I can get this past that point to that point. Okay. I'm going to try not to scratch up the walls or the piston. And I'm going to try to lift that piston up while I'm pushing the shaft through. Lifting up the piston, and I can tell it's cleared. And so now I can continue pushing. I can release that because I know I'm past the piston opening, and I'm back in. Now on this side, I'm going to put a little grease on my washer. Then I'm going to put my knob back on, and if your if your one side has a has a scale on it, then I can turn it to where it matches that side. But this one doesn't have a scale at all, so what I'm just going to do is I'm pretty sure that's it because the gravity is now turning my knob to where it's at the, the very bottom because the weight is pushing down. So I know that's going to be probably um, zero. So I'm just going to take a guess and put that at zero. And now I'm going to squeeze, squeeze the handles while I'm tightening. because it's squeezing this little wave washer, which is the tension. This is the tension side. And as I feel it, it's our, I already know it's better. It's not moving at all. And If, as I look through my view and I find I'm not at zero, then I would turn it to zero and do the same thing. Turn my knob to where it's at zero and then tighten it. And I'm going to put a, a scale on here to match. But hopefully that will, that will be a, another way to resolve the drifting. This is probably the, the better way, although it's more involved because if you have the right kind of grease, because the factory setting was probably good enough. And um, so for, the, for this occurrence, we're just going to leave the factory tension as it is and allow the clean grease to resolve the slit drift. If you wanted to see a diagram, there's our slit open close handle shaft or axle. It's a little washer. And 
here's the other side with its washer, wave washer, other washer, lock nut, handle, and a little piston.